Thank you. 
Hello. Hey, everybody. Hi. Yo, we already have a raid. Mini Mancer, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> okay, okay. Actually, uh, it's weird that there's no music. I don't understand. Anyways, <laughs> I'll say hi to everybody and then we'll, we'll start playing, okay? Woozy, hello. Ribians, hello. Astro, or Don, hello. Don and Astro, hello. Naomi, hello. Commander Copper, hello. Kbot, hello. Junk, hello. <clears throat> Anston, hello. Ruka, hello. Wobbles, hello. Taz, hello. Welcome. Your waddleness, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Saucy Senzu, hello. Neral, hello. Arjuna, hello. Abraman, hello. <clears throat> Autumn, what? Hello. Salad, hello. Welcome back. Puzzle Piece, hello. Oh, oh. Flame, hello. Flames, the name was taken. Hello, welcome. Puzzle Piece Angel, hello. Oh, oh. Okay. Ryos, hello. Baron Valerian, hello. Gumi, hello. Hootie, hello. Uh, ah, bat shop crazy. Hello, welcome. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> I think, uh, so curious, are you more of a Zug Zug Loktar orc or more of a red ones go faster orc? Actually, based on my design, probably more of a Warcraft orc. Yeah, yeah. Did you meet smoking hot bears this weekend? I didn't. I didn't, unfortunately. I don't want to tell you guys where I went exactly, but it's not, it's not a place that you would find bears. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's load into the game. 44, hello, welcome. Okay, okay. I have not played this game in three months, so I need to, I don't remember how to, I don't, I don't remember the controls, so I, I need to immediately pause and... Why is it taking so long? Okay. Let's go ahead and, like, pause. Pause it. Okay. What the hell is this? Okay. 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 Maybe, like, lower the volume just a little bit. Oh, Okay. Ugh. Ugh. I had to stay at work a little bit late today because I had a... Uh, I took the day off on Friday, so I... Oh, my God. Oh, I think we're good. Took the day off on Friday, so I had a lot of work that piled up. Yo, all, hello, welcome. Dusky Voltage, hello, welcome. Ugh. Furious Ninetale, hello, welcome. Thank you for the compliments. Woozy made it. Woozy made my character. And I love my character so much. Man. <laughs> Robert, hello. Welcome. I... Okay. Alright. And then this doesn't use energy. Oh, God. Okay. I keep... I keep picking this shit up. Okay. 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 Okay, everything's planted. Okay, I visit the wizard. I have to like water shit. Where's my watering can? Okay. 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 There's my cat. What did I name my cat? Violence is a free action. It is. It is. Mr. Rue, hello. Welcome. Okay. I I typically play this game like Jeff Bezos. I'm like hyper... I care way too much about efficiency. I... <laughs> Am I going to like out myself and get people pissed off at me? Uh, I usually actually play Joja. I go Jojo route instead of community center route because it's more efficient. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna force myself not to do that. And, you know? Yeah. Where's my axe? Okay. Oh my god. 
I like that. Okay. Something like that. I still need the hoe. That's good. Okay, okay. Okay. What did I want to do there? Well, let's, let's... <laughs> Breezing Wolf, hello. Is he not going to tell us about his camping trip? Yeah, yeah, I'll get, to, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Actually, this, this game takes a surprising amount of concentration. I guess I just, I, I might have chosen poorly. I was thinking it would be like a nice casual game where I could just chat with you guys and have this on the background, but... Um... The way that, the way that my brain works, I know that, I know that time passes and there's like a limited amount of time. So like, oh man, this might be a bad choice of game to play where I could just chat and like hang out with you guys. <laughs> I might need to reconsider it. Let me think about it. I could just be like, look, dude. Just, just waste the day away. It's fine. You don't need to. You don't need to like min max everything. Yeah, it's like a corporate mindset. I fucking hate it. I play this game like an idiot, not an idiot. I play it like a min maxing troglodyte. Anyways, <laughs> Sin Burner. Hello. Something to listen and write to. Wonderful. Welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Let's talk about camping. Man, I really needed it. Okay, the first. Yo, Iggy. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Iggy's crowd, how you doing? How you doing? I just started, so... Iggy, I just realized right now that the way that I play Stardew Valley is very, very min-max heavy, so... This might actually be a particularly bad game to chat with everybody along to. We'll see, we'll see. I was faster. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I will attempt to not... Try hard this game. I will attempt to not try hard this game and then just just have fun, you know? Just have fun. We're all, we're all here to have fun, right? Okay. Am I, like, not running? What's your favorite try hard stat? Iggy, I go Joja and then I rush Greenhouse. Like, I've always done that. I've always greenhouse rushed as a, you know, I go fishing, I fish hard. I typically get enough money to get the greenhouse before the end of spring season one. And then I just, you know, yeah. I rush uh, ancient fruit wine. Pretty much what I do. So I'm going to attempt not to do that. Obsolete proxy. Hello. Welcome. Ayanami. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Oh, this is bad. The way that my thing is set up. Oh, never mind. We're good. Easy. Okay. I am. I love Stardew. It's a very good game. Ugh, seaweed. Take a sip. Ugh. We're talking about camping? <clears throat> I am very out of shape. Extremely out of shape. I, uh... Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Okay, we got it. I am very out of shape. I, uh... This is a... I went to a national park that I... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna lose that treasure chest. Hold on. I refuse. I refuse to lose it. Okay, we're good. Woo! Bait. This is bait. <laughs> Your pole control could use some work. I'm rusty. I'm a little rusty. I will not deny that. Okay. So it's a, it's, I went camping at a national park that I've gone to many a time. I went on a hiking trail that I've went on many a time, and uh, I guess because we've been going through two years of pandemic, I'm very out of shape now. I was, I finished the hike, it was no problem, but I was, 
I have never gotten winded ever. Yo, hello, Linus. How you doing? I've never gotten winded on that hiking trail before in my entire fucking life. And I was like, pretty out of breath. That's a hiking trail that I would take my nieces to, you know? I would consider it like a really good beginner's hike. And I was like, I'm not used to this anymore. Which means... I definitely wouldn't be up for the, the more rigorous trails, you know? So it's like, damn, I gotta, I gotta get back in shape. So that was like kind of a downer, but... Man, I had a lot of fun. Yo, Ed Stevens, welcome back. Hello, hello. I'm just, uh... Chatting about my camping experiences. <clears throat> this this is fishing takes up too much concentration. I, I I'm not gonna fish. Is I'm getting too into it. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hang out with you guys. Jade Falcon, hello. Did you ever catch COVID? Lost a little bit of lung capacity and it was in great shape. I actually don't think I ever caught it. I'm very, very good at, I'm very good at, uh, hunkering down. To this day, I don't really go out that much. And, uh, you know, I stay safe. So, uh, to my knowledge, I never, I never caught it. But, I used to, I was fairly active. Like, I had a gym membership and all that, but I canceled everything and I, I, I even stopped bicycling, which is weird because bicycling is supposed to be a pretty, uh, Pretty good at pretty good oh my god pretty good activity for socially distancing get it get in there okay I'm gonna sell the shit oh man what can I do that's uh what can I do oh let's visit the wizard yeah 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 can I cut my way over there I used to bicycle a lot I used to bicycle every day almost right because the pandemic, I don't know why, maybe I got lazy. Oh, it's blocked. God damn it. Why did I choose this this type of farm? This farm this type of farm is fucking garbage. Why did I do that? This is not a good this is not a good type of Anyways. Try the other bridge. Brandon is engulfing. I I mostly go to the golf range. I very rarely like actually play golf, which is not good. It's very different. Because I'm mostly a ranger at when it comes to golfing, I am very bad at putting and I'm very, very bad at my approach game, which means I'm a bad golfer. Those are the most important parts. Driving is for I don't know how to describe it. Driving is not that important. That's not even close to the most important part of being a golfer. Like, you need to know how to putt. Putting is the most important part. <clears throat> I like that farm. Okay, okay. Fair, fair. Hello. What did I want to say? This is a joke on homophones. <laughs> Wait, where's the wizard? Did I go too low? I went too low. It's fine, I'll pick that up. This freaking game, I swear to God. There you go. There's the wizard. Hello, sir. You're looking like a snack. <clears throat> Monstrosity, hello. Welcome. Huge fan of the Avatar. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Woozy uh, illustrated it for me. Dan did the rigging. And I think uh, they, they both did an incredible job. Very thankful that they uh, took my... Uh, took my project. <clears throat> Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the... You get the point. I got the point. <laughs> Long foreseen. He's gonna show me his... 
Uh, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, that's what he was gonna show me, got it, got it. I have seen one before, I have. Genimos, yep. Probably because, like, you have it in a force field. <laughs> His wand is a wooden six-shooter. Bug! Bug, hello. I'm so excited for Haunted Chocolatier. What is that? You know, I haven't played Stardew Valley in over two or three years. So they've added a lot of stuff that I've never, I've never experienced. And I know, I know for a fact that they've added tea. They've added tea as a, as a plantable crop, which is, I'm going to make a tea farm, but I've never, I, I, I stopped playing before they added tea leaves, so. <clears throat> tea, indeed. Is the next game Concerned Ape is working on? Seems like Stardew, but chocolate making in a futuristic city and you sell chocolate to ghosts? Dude, I would love to play that. When is it coming out? Yo, that sounds like a really fun game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. I wonder if it's going to be uh, like, uh, what is it called? What is it called when they start selling a game before it's done? Like, Dark, Darkest Dungeon was like that. This game was like that, too, where this game was being sold on Steam before it was officially finished, right? I wonder if, uh... What is it called? Haunted Chocolatier would be like that, too. Early Access! Yes, that's what they call it. Alpha? Yeah, 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 yeah. Beta, Alpha. But, like... I've played in betas where, like, they didn't sell the game beforehand. Like an open beta where like you couldn't buy the game yet. Like you couldn't spend money on it yet, right? I think early access is what it's called when you can... It's like a... Early access is a beta where you pay... You have to pay for it, right? Am I... Am I... Sigma access? <laughs> no clue when they released a teaser. Everybody went crazy. Yeah. Sneef, sneef. This might not be a very good game to, like, chat with. This guy just told me to come. Yeah? Ingredients with baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I can smell it, yes. Drink up. Uh, I don't... I just met you, dude. You sent a letter to my house, and I came over to your, your tower in the forest. Uh, Alright, I'll drink it. Ever hear how Mandrake was made? No, I've never heard that. Please tell me. How is Mandrake made? Never mind, it's surreal, Randon. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I like it. Green's a good color. The seed of a hanged man. No way, that's cool. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Do they have to extract... Do they have to extract the seed before he's hanged? Or do they have to extract it afterwards? Because it's probably much more difficult afterwards. I should move on. That's a... Uh... During? During! <laughs> okay, okay. It happens during, actually, no fucking way. That's wild. It's a screaming mandrake. Dominion Golem, welcome back. Hello, hello. What does that make guts? <laughs> That's true. What does that make guts? I know exactly what you're referencing. God, I love Berserk. And I know, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Guts' history. 
Beastillers are freaking wild. Indeed, indeed. Let's go collect some seashells. Hello, Elliot. Oh. <clears throat> Clay, nice. Glad one of my favorite games is the first stream I caught from you. Yo, Beatrice Elfburn. Hello, welcome. I love this game. This is 300 pieces of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about modding the game. You know, I've never modded Stardew. Not even like portrait mods. I've never done any mods. Maybe I should. I don't think I'm going to make this into a series and play it a lot. I think I... This... I had, the, I had the idea in my head that this would be a good game to play in the background while I'm chatting with you guys. But now that I'm actually playing it, I, I don't know if that was true or not. Seaweed? Dude, I just got some seaweed. Let's go, let's go, let's go give it to... Devitar, hello. Welcome. This might not be the best game to ch chat with everybody with. It kind of takes up a lot of my concentration. Just finished watching all of your YouTube videos. No, oh, thank you. I need to get back on that. I need to start making YouTube videos again. That was, uh, I've been on a kind of a break from making YouTube videos, but I need to get back into it. And I will, I will get back into it. But for now, it's locked. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Damn it. Willie! Willie! Oh, was that Willie? Well, hey! Come here. What? Wait a second. Oh, I gave him algae, not seaweed. Whoops. Whatever. That's fine. I saw another streamer had like 16 follower co op Stardew. That's insane. Oh my god. I've never played multiplayer Stardew, so. That's also something that I've never done. What did I want to do? Ah! I'm going to go back. I'm going to get a flower and I'm going to turn in the first Junimo pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Competitive Stardew. I... I min-maxed the shit out of this game. I always get a backpack on day two. I always get a backpack on day two. Like, really, really quick. And then, um... Yeah. It's not... It's not good to play. That's not the way that the game is meant to be played. Come on. Okay. This. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. So, anywho. I went camping. I went to a campground that I knew was uh, first come, first serve. That's the only way that I was going to get a campground. Because... The weather is beautiful, mid-late March. Oh, there's a flower right there. I, every campground near where I live, within two or three hours of where I live, um, that's like reservable, was completely booked. There was, there was, there was nothing, there was no campgrounds that are open. So I knew I had to choose one that was first come, first serve. And I came first, baby, let's go. That's my, that's my motto. I always come first, you know? Anyways, uh, this one. Rimiru, hello. Good luck, good luck. Okay. <clears throat> of course, Reddit comes first. I have fish to catch, I do. Unfortunately, I went to an area without a lot of, uh, without a place to fish. There's, there's no, like, rivers or lakes nearby that you can you can actually fish, so... That was not in the cards. Uh, you... That's it. Yo, Captain Krabs, hello. Yeah, I've been, uh... I've been, I've been streaming on Twitch lately. I like it. For the foreseeable future, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna Stick around, you know? Crab pot bundle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I assume you get algae from fishing near rocks? I don't think so. I think it's completely randomized. 
At least when I played Stardew, it was pretty randomized. It's not really, like, based on anything, you know? Good game choice. Yeah, I love this game. Man, I played the shit out of this game when it first came out. And I remember... I actually was not living in my current apartment when I first played it. I remember I was living somewhere else. Crab pot bundle sounds like a disease. <laughs> do I want to plant this shit? How much energy do I have? I have a lot of energy. Oh, man, I'm playing like really inefficiently. We're going to sell these. So, I love modding the game. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, what am I going to do? Don't want to... F no, no, no. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I should, I should upgrade my tools. Yes. That's a good idea. Let's go ahead and... Start like cutting down trees and shit. <laughs> this game has one of the best soundtracks ever. It does. So. Ugh. Sometimes being inefficient is better. Remember that one day I was slacking on work and systems went down as comment. Oh, this. the hell is that? What is that? What is this? I've never seen this before. What is this? What is this? Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, I cut it. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, jeez. That's fine. Drunken Pop. Hello. Welcome. I broke it with the axe on accident. Oh, Oh, I'm a fool. Rice? Man. So much has changed in this game. I do not know what any of that... I must have planted it because there's a, there's a scarecrow right there. Why did I plant that? Why did I plant it? I don't know. I don't know. It's all, it's all a mystery to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I suck at this game. What style farm is this? Izura, hello. Welcome back. It's a hilltop farm? Like a mountain farm, I think? Something like that? Okay, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Alright, we're good. Okay, let's sleep. Never done hilltop before. Before. Yeah, me neither. Meow. Decent cash. Decent. Uh, the return of Cat Randon. Okay, how do I handle this? Hi. Okay, I wanna. I wanna get. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I, whatever, it's fine. I just can't, I cannot control this game the way that I want to control it. Oh man, I broke one of my rice crops. The best song in the game plays during spring is called Wild... This is not the best choice for a just chatting game. <laughs> yeah. I might have to switch games. Let me think about that. <laughs> 
Can I can I embrace not trying too hard? Cause I want to do my farm to do well. Yeah, I just I just it requires too much of my attention. Would getting over it be a better just chatting game? Well, getting over it has points where I could stop playing, right? Getting over it doesn't have like a timer. The timer is the element that's making this a stressful game to do just chatting, right? Does getting over it have like a, hey, you have to, if you don't finish the day, like you're gonna pass out, you know? This is not a, this is, I regret, I regret, this is not a good game choice for just chatting. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Vivi, hello, welcome. Opens at nine. Damn it. You can just ignore the timer and just chill. Beatrice, that is not my personality. Part of the reason why I love this game and part of the reason why I cannot do that is because I, I just, it's not, it's not gonna happen. I'm absolutely going to like obsess over making the best use of my time. I might, yo, yo gold ore, let's go. Wildfire, hello. Squeaky Jinx, hello. Plays you want, it's the one that you're the one playing. Yeah, I love this game. I love this game, but I don't think I could, I don't think I could just like, I don't think I could just stand here and not do anything the entire day. Like that's not, that's not in my personality, you know? Oh, I was going to open some geodes too. Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, I think I want to do axe first. Do I have enough? I don't have enough money. It takes 2000 gold. Damn it. Damn it. Yo, boss ham, big ham. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I might need to switch games This is not a good game for chatting It's not What should I switch to? Yo, Rush, hello Mr. Random, may I ask what has inspired the push for more Twitch streams? Um Oh, another thing I wanted to mention to you guys Alright, so I had a lot of time to think while I was camping, right? I had a lot of time to think I went on hikes. My feet are still killing me. My feet still hurt right now, but I went on hikes. I bought a shit ton of firewood and I was just like staring into a fire while I was camping. I had a lot of time to think, right? I think um, a major thing that was causing me to a lot of stress when it comes to VTubing that made me need to take a break was because I... I was downloading all of my VODs on YouTube and they're massive. They're like, they're like five gigabyte VODs, right? Hey kitty. I was downloading these massive VODs and I can only do like three or four of them a day and I have like 150 VODs, right? And then I have to like re-upload them onto my VOD channel. I made a separate VOD channel. I was re-uploading them and it was taking so long and it was stressing me out and I was getting like, as I was doing it, I was getting mad because it's like, this is a shitty situation. YouTube, you need to get your shit together. Like, why I shouldn't have to do this for my channel, right? So, I realized that was a reason why I was getting pretty stressed and why I was not enjoying VTubing that much. Because every day, I would come home from work and then I would be downloading like five or six VODs. Massive files, right? <clears throat> this is what I decided to do. I decided, I think a VOD channel is ideal. That's the ideal situation, but I do not want to, I don't want to download 150 VODs and upload it. I'll take the second best thing, which is unlisting the VODs and then putting them onto a playlist, a VOD playlist, which is what I did. If you guys go onto my YouTube channel, I, I ended up doing that. I think you should be able to see it now. If you go to the playlists on my channel, like all of my VODs are there. So, I gave up making a VOD channel because it was pissing me off. I was getting like really angry. I was getting like pretty tilted. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, so that's good, right? All right, so Rush, let's talk about like your question, right? You, if you have, if you have a publicly listed VOD on your YouTube channel, the YouTube algorithm is gonna prioritize showing people your VODs. Like that's, that's like the long and short of it. Like 
because it's a long video file and because the average session time on your VOD like video is going to be like anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes. I think my average is about 40 minutes, right? Like the average person that clicks on watches my VOD, including people that are watching me live stream will watch for about 40 minutes, right? So YouTube is like, wow, 40 minutes. That's great. And then they'll just show a bunch of people my VOD and a random person that's never seen me before that looks at a VOD is just going to be, I ain't going to fucking watch this shit. It's three hours and the first five minutes is a starting student screen. Like they're going to click off. It's just, it's, it's a mess. Like there's a reason why if you look at, if you look at major YouTube streamers that are not VTubers because VTubers are newbies to the streaming scene. VTubers are like absolute newbies. They don't know like what's good or what's bad. They're just kind of like winging it, right? But if you, if you look at the YouTube channel of an experienced streamer, they do not have public VODs. They don't do it. They have a separate channel for VODs or they have like playlists because they understand that like the way that YouTube does it right now is stupid and not a good idea. So yeah. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> newbie reaper. Hello. Welcome doppelganger. Hello. Yeah, so I I guess I could stream on YouTube again. I I just need to private the vods or not private. I need to unlist the vods and put them onto a onto a uh, the feel when I don't upload. Vivi, I've seen one of your vods though. Didn't you upload an ASMR stream vod on your channel? I did see it. I put it up on the background while I was like working on stuff. <clears throat> There's a word I can't use it. Yeah, I could stream on YouTube. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't feel like it because I don't think they're doing a good enough job. I frankly do not think they're doing a good enough job for, for streamers of my size. I think YouTube is working really hard to make the bigger streamers very, very comfortable, but they're not helping streamers of my size. So it's kind of like, if they're not going to help me, then why should I favor their, their platform, right? Except modding sucks ass on YouTube. Yeah, it does. It's just not a good... It's not a good platform. And they don't really seem to care too much about, like, smaller streamers. So it's kind of like, you know, why, why even try? Oh, this game. <clears throat> hey, Gary. Hello. Welcome. So I got my VOD playlist up. I need to start making video games again. Not video games, videos again. Oh, so inefficient. Crabs. I don't care about the kid. It's doing good. It's doing good. Now, the question is, should I monetize on Twitch? I don't think I'm gonna monetize on Twitch. I don't think I'm going to get affiliate. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to get affiliate. I think I'm just going to, I'm just, no, no, no. I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing right now, which is fun. I, I feel, I feel no, I feel absolutely no pressure to monetize on Twitch. <laughs> Cause there's no ads. <laughs> I, I gain, I gain nothing from monetizing on Twitch and I lose at, at the ad free experience. So I'd rather not monetize. I like how there's no ads. Hype to watch those VODs while I draw tomorrow. Yo, please do. Thank you. Donate. All right. <clears throat> what about YouTube membership? Yeah, that's something that I was wondering about. Uh, I might... Should I close it down so people don't have to pay for it? I should do members only streams. I, I dropped the ball on that. There's still a lot of things that I need to figure out. There's still a lot of things that I need to figure out. If I ever do monetize on Twitch, I would have to shut down YouTube memberships. But I'm not going to monetize on Twitch, so I feel no desire to do that. I do understand why people would cancel their YouTube membership, though, because I'm not even fucking streaming on YouTube, right? Yeah, it's, it's a tough situation. I feel bad for you guys, but uh, I don't know. It just I just really don't want to stream on YouTube right now, so it just kind of in an in-between point. Okay. What do I do? 
What do I do? I need money. Should I farm more? I will plant these. Yes. Really helps me understand how things work. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Oh, this game. I think I'll keep playing it. But I've learned a lesson. I've learned a lesson. My brain was like, oh, Renan, Sardu is a really good casual game to play while you're chatting with your regulars. It is not. The way that I play it, it is not. It, it is absolutely not. I am such a tryhard in this game because I love it. Because I love this game. I'm such an insane tryhard at it that, like, this is not a good, this is not a good game to just chat with. Being a YouTube watcher never made things terrible. I think we're just happy to get to see Yo, thank you. Thank you. I've got no need to cancel. <laughs> thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. Yo, KR. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're playing Stardew. <clears throat> oh, man. I need to rush... I need to rush sprinklers, which means I need to farm a lot. Yeah. That's what I need to do. I don't want to fish because fishing takes up too much of my concentration. God damn it. But most of the people watch on Twitch via YouTube. Yes, 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 yes. YouTube is a really important platform for anybody that's trying to stream. Although I would argue that um, if you're starting from, like, nothing, YouTube is extremely unfriendly to people that are starting from nothing. And TikTok is probably better than YouTube for gaining your first, like, 50 regulars, right? I think TikTok is definitely better than YouTube. <clears throat> Ultrafist, hello. Camping went beautifully. You know, maybe I could just tell you guys. Should I just tell you guys? Because I'm not there anymore, you know? Maybe I could just tell you guys where I went. Let me think. I will consider this. <clears throat> mm. I won't tell you the name of the park. But I'll give you a little bit more info about it, okay? It might be safer not to. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go to a a national park that's like a foresty type area. I went to like a desert type national park, okay? And I think that's about as, as detailed as I'm going to get. I camped out in the desert, but it's not like it's not like it's not like the Sahara or some shit like that, right? It's not just like in like a sand dune, it's a national park. So it was like beautiful. Beautiful place to park. Like the desert is actually like kind of a beautiful place, you know? Ever do portage with canoes, like a multi-day trip down a river? I have, actually. I have. Uh, that was mostly scouts, but not as, a, as an adult. Camping in the dessert, a big piece of cake. You didn't camp in, like, in the movie Mummy? No. No, 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 no. I camped in a, in a national park. State park? National park? I just feel so bad. Wasting time. I just can't get over it. I might need to switch to a different game. Golf? I don't know. I feel so... Like, I can't get rid of that feeling, man. Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is definitely a good game where, like, I'm not on a timer. I could just, like, chat and not give a shit. Golf is a good one. My second guess was that you went to camp in some cave or something. No, 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 no. Did it once as a junior ranger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dilemma of being alive, I hate the feeling of wasting time. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, but I love this. I love this game, but I can't. I can't chat while I'm playing it because 
my brain is like, you're wasting time. Ah. I could do just chatting too. I could do just chatting. Let's do it. Let's do, let's do, let's do. It's not wasted time if you're having, Beatrice, I, I, I understand. I also really, really love this game, but like, you got to understand that like, People have different personality types. People have different ways that their brains work, right? And you got to respect that. You got to respect that. Like some people might not be able to ignore, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like people have different ways of thinking and my way of thinking is clearly different from yours. And I, I play this game like a jackass. <laughs> I play this game in a way it's like, you have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. Like, I feel like an intense desire to... Time is money, friend! Yeah, exactly. I play it like a goblin from World of Warcraft. <laughs> okay. Potato first, people second. Exactly. Exactly. I might need to switch to just chatting. Because I actually really do want to talk about my camping trip and the stuff that I was thinking about, you know? I thought I would be able to, like, just kick back, but... Is Potato. Atomize, hello. Welcome back. Holla holla, get that dollar. <laughs> That's me right there. Last weekend. Gotta catch 50 fish by the lake by nightfall. Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. How far can I go? Gear broth, hello. Welcome, welcome. And you're streaming too, so howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. And and now I'm down here in the mines and I'm kind of thinking like... You didn't really check the luck. Luck is a, is a really important factor for mining. I typically don't go into the mines unless it's like at least neutral luck. But ideally like... Decent to good luck, you know? The fishing minigame? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'm stubborn. And I see, I see that. Yeah, I, I see that. I'm stubborn. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to just play and chat with you guys. I'll deal with my stupid brain telling me that I'm an idiot and I'm wasting time. I'll just not bring it up. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I also typically don't go into the mines until I fish up a better weapon. A club? Eh, nah, I don't really like clubs. I typically don't go into the mines until, you know, I get a decent weapon from fishing. Like a little, little, little trident head, you know? No, 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 no! Okay, good. If you stop dealing damage to those guys, they turn into a little larva thing. They turn into cocoon. Oh, Jesus. I, I used up too much energy. Damn it. Do I have any food? I actually don't have any food. That might be my sign to... Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> uh, I don't have any food on me. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, there's food right there. Watching your left wrist or right wrist? Uh, right wrist. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> my god. So, my iPad actually covers, like, the right 5% of my screen, so I can't even see my energy bar, which is why that happened. Okay, now I can eat. I eat it. Okay, good. We're back. Woo! Jummy's World. Thank you for the raid. 
Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Farting? <laughs> that's a good, that's a really good raid message. <laughs> I just think that's funny. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? What were you up to? I think if you spent the entire stream farting, I respect that. I think that's really cool. But if you're doing something else, I'd love to hear about like what you were up to, you know? How was your day? How was your stream? This place is smelly now. Yo, just chatting. Jummy, I might need to switch to just chatting because I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. I can't play this game casually. Like, I just have to. Hello. Quick, jar it. We can make money. We played some Sea of Thieves. Yo. What's my energy at? Yeah, my energy's at half. Yeah, yeah. You guys can't see my energy bar either. Because I'm covering it with my fat body. Yeah, fishing pole. Got it. Everything's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to force it. Honestly, this is uh, not the game. <laughs> not the game for me to do just shedding. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, can't stay long. I have to take my meds to have a fun stream. Yeah, Jummy. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Yo, Jummy. And I totally understand like the feeling of like after you finish a stream, you raid someone that you, you, you want to introduce to your community and then you've just been streaming for like X amount of hours and you just want to eat and like lay down, right? I totally feel that. <laughs> Stardew Valley though, I know. I I love this game. I, I hope I'm not coming across as that like I don't think this game is fun. I This game is addicting to me. I love this game. But I really, really wanted to catch up with my viewers because I went on vacation I went on a camping trip, and I wanted to talk about, like, my experiences when I went camping. But I don't think I can do that while I'm playing this game, because this game sucks me in, and I get obsessed with, like, you know, like, getting stuff done. And I just, I can't look at chat and and respond to you guys and play this game at the same time. Like, it's, it's a game that demands my full attention. Does that make sense? If anything, it's because I like this game too much that I cannot chat and play this game. This has to be a game that I play when I'm, like, not going for chat interaction. I'm just, like, vegging out and just playing a video game. I don't know. Yeah, like, this, I just take this game way too seriously, and I love it. <laughs> like, my energy's low. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost screwed myself over there. Okay, let's, uh... Let's switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just chatting. Alright, how about this? I want to do just chatting. I want to talk about my camping trip. I want to talk with you guys. And then after we're done chatting, after I'm done with everything that I want to talk to you guys about, maybe we can come back to Stardew Valley and then I could play. And then I'll play like try hard mode where, where I'm like giving it my full attention and I'm fishing and I'm making money. See, like I wanted to fish and make money so that I could upgrade my tools. But I take fishing way too seriously in this game and I cannot chat while I'm, you know. So let's divide it. Let's divide it. I'll chat with you guys first, and then if I'm done and I have time, I'll, I'll go back to Stardew. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a break. Give me, give me like two or three minutes, and then I'll switch to just chatting, all right? All right, all right, all right.
Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, this is much more comfortable. I've got I've got my stream chat dead center on my main monitor. Oh, this is so much better. Ah, okay, okay. I probably should have done this from the very beginning. <laughs> I I try to do gaming streams on Monday every Monday so that you guys know you know what it's about. But I should just I should just. This is something that Gray, one of my mods, tells me. I should just do whatever the fuck I feel like. I should stop, like, stressing about what I think I should be doing. And just do whatever the heck I want, you know? Oh, this is good. Okay. Kuro Onesan, hello. Welcome. Drink some water. <laughs> I got crusty. God damn it. Cliff, hello. How you doing? Welcome back. Grab the bento. <laughs> okay. This feels much better. Your audience is for you. Bacon here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm able to chat now about what I wanted to chat about. I went camping. I talked to you guys about uh, all my VODs are on a, on a playlist now on my main channel. My, my VOD videos are all unlisted, so you're not going to find them in the video tab. They're going to be, they're going to be on a playlist, which you guys can like check out and watch. All of them are on there. It's like 150 stream VODs. It's wild. And I'm going to stop thinking about it. I can stop thinking about it now that they're up. I actually have a VOD channel with like 30 videos uploaded, but they're they're private. They're not they're not listed. But I gave up on that. It's just taking way too much time. Do unlisted videos get recommended to people? They do not, Rubens. They do not get recommended to people, which is why it's better for them to be that way. They also do not count towards my watch time though, which is really stupid really stupid well i can kind of understand why i guess i don't know <clears throat> Randon, how's your camping trip wait did i already ask that you probably did cliff but i didn't see it because stardew valley really takes up a lot of my attention it went really really well i uh i went to a campsite that's first come first serve so that means i showed up I think I showed up at like 10 a.m. on Friday. <laughs> and at 10 a.m. on Friday, the, the entire campground was completely empty. So I got to choose the best campsite in the entire campground, right? Paid, set up my camp. I went hiking and then I came back from my hike. I came back from my hike. It was like four o'clock, around 3.30 to 4 p.m. I came back to the camp campsite and it was packed. Every single campsite was completely full by the time I came back from my hike. It was it was incredible. Olivia, hello. Welcome back. I'm doing good. Olivia, I went on my camping trip and uh, I feel like 150% better. I feel so much better. I really needed a I really needed a vacation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I came back from my first hike. The easy is an easy five and a half mile loop. Very little elevation gain or loss, so pretty good, pretty good. And the campsite was completely packed. What did I eat while I was out there? I ate chili, I ate curry. I had uh, a lot of oatmeal. I had some sandwiches, you know? I had a frittata. I made a, the last morning that I was out there, I had an egg breakfast because I wasn't gonna go hiking. Uh, I think I told you guys this on Thursday before I went. I hate the feeling of eating eggs and then going camping. Something about that combo where if I eat eggs in the morning and then I go hiking in the afternoon or in the, around noontime, something about it like does not interact with my stomach well. So I don't like eating eggs before I exercise. Yeah, but I, got a, I, I ate a frittata the morning that I left. What type of curry? Japanese curry, potatoes, onions, carrots, garlic, mushrooms, and uh, chicken thigh chicken curry and it's like a it's like a japanese style curry yeah 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 <clears throat> do you hunt Randon? probably fish i mostly fish i've gone hunting with my uncle who lives in alaska i'm not really into it i understand with my orc brain that like when i go get like a like a <laughs> like a like a not a prime rib. What, what am I? What am I thinking? Come on. What's my favorite cut of steak? What? Oh my god, I'm blanking. What 
the fuck is it? It's the ribeye. There we go. I, I go to I go to I go to the supermarket and I get a ribeye steak. And I know that that's an animal that died, right? But like I went I went deer hunting with my uncle in Alaska. Deer, elk, deer, elk. I think elk, not deer. But um, you know, I, I was slapping my forehead because I was like pissed off that I couldn't. I, my my brain was like prime rib, prime rib, prime rib, prime rib. It's like you idiot. Prime rib is not a steak. It's not even a cut of meat. It's because because a prime rib is a, is a rib roast. A standing rib roast is what it's called. But Deer Hunter is a pretty good band. Gispacho, hello. I do muzzle loader. Holy shit. Anywho, I went deer hunting with my uncle. We we we. There's no way to like sugarcoat it, right? Like we we killed a deer. We shot a deer until it was dead, brought it home, and then my uncle showed me how to like. My uncle's like pretty hardcore. He he knows how to like dress a deer and then like prepare the meat so that you could actually like eat it. Uh, my my uncle taught me. He was big on like not sport hunting, which I respect. My uncle thinks sport hunting is. Uh, he has very strong opinions on sport hunting, very negative opinions, and I respect the hell out of that. You know, I apologize if there's people in my chat that are sport hunters, but. I kind of agree with my uncle. I think sport hunting is like bad. And that includes sport fishing. Yes, exactly, Cliff. Sport hunting is where you don't eat the things that you catch and kill. So I, even for fishing, I don't really like catch and release. I don't really like catch and release. I always go fishing with the intent of eating, legally eating the things that I catch. So if it's too small, I will throw it back because it's illegal to cat keep fish that are too small. But I never go fishing with the intent of releasing fish. I want to catch fish that I can keep and eat, you know? Yeah. Did you trudge grass when you camped? Gazpacho? You just came in, so you didn't hear? I went desert camping. I went camping in the desert. <laughs> Which is why I couldn't go fishing, and it's not a very good place to go bicycling. It's an okay, okay place to go mountain biking, kind of, but not really. So yeah, like, I went camping in the desert, so... Not a lot of grass out there, you know? <sighs> Anywho. So I got to the campground at like 10 a.m. Set up camp, set up my uh, set up my tent, set up like pretty much all of my gear. Campground was completely empty, beautiful. I, I picked the best spot in the entire campground. Went on a three hour hike, came back and the entire campground was completely full. Like every single site was full. There were a lot of kids there too. There's a lot of kids. Ugh. Nothing against kids, it's just, uh, you know. Did you touch a cactus though? I touched a Joshua tree. I touched a, I touched, I touched essentially a cactus, yes. I'll catfish people with the intent of eating them. <laughs> My family overall is not into sport hunting. My uncles hunt, but they always eat what they hunt. Yeah, Astro, I, I, you know. You gotta, you gotta, you know? You just gotta. <clears throat> Children derogatory. <laughs> I went hunting with my uncle and I realized that it's not too different from fishing. Cause you're eating some you're 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 killing and eating something that was alive, but I think something about hunting on land is is not for me. <laughs> It's not my thing. I'm, I'm mostly a, a fisher orc. I'm an angler. I like to fish. Children are a pox on humanity. Touch grass. This touches this. What about when grass touches you? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. That first hike, like a five and a half, six mile loop, is a hike that has basically zero elevation gain. I think it has like 200 feet of elevation gain, which is nothing. That's a hike that I would take my, my nieces on. And my nieces are tiny. They're like absolutely tiny. And <laughs> they would be able to do it no problem. And I was like winded at the end of it. Oh, man. My dad's disdain for sport hunting is so strong he ended up buying a plushy deer head to put up above the mantle in the living room where you could see it if you walked by the house. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
sport hunting is just i don't know something about it is is weird vtubing got you out of shape <laughs> is it vtubing or is it just the negative thing about the pandemic is i felt like my brain is like you're doing a good thing by not going out and exercising you're doing the responsible thing by not exercising which is like kind of true but not really like you can exercise and be safe right <laughs> it just gave me an excuse not to exercise and i used to be i used to be like kind of a health nut you know i used to i used to ride my bike four or five times a week i mean definitely five times a week when i was commuting to work and then i used to like i had a gym membership i went to the gym you know and i just i just i just don't do anything anymore <sighs> Anywho, what did I eat that first night? I ate curry. Yeah, yeah, I got back to camp. It was completely filled to the brim. But luckily, I picked... All right, so when I said that I got to pick the best campsite, for me, the number one thing, and over even, um, like, how pretty the campsite is, because there were campsites that were prettier. The main reason why I considered the campsite that I picked the best is because... <laughs> <laughs> is because it was the most isolated it had the biggest amount of distance between like uh, like the adjacent campsites so i had like a fair bit of space between my neighbors you know you can tell that my that my the type of personality that i have that, that that's what i would consider the ideal campsite ah merlot vio hello i'm sold on that orc model thank you thank you so much <laughs> Merlot, I just went on the first vacation I've had since I started VTubing about 13, 14 months ago. So in 13 and 14 months, I've never missed a stream, a missed a scheduled stream. I guess I didn't schedule a stream on Saturday, so I didn't miss it. But I was like, I deserve a vacation. I'm a little bit exhausted. I went camping over the weekend and uh, I'm coming back and I'm just chatting with people. Tiffany, hello. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> no bozos to bother you. Yeah. Captain Benpool, hello. Welcome. We're re I'm recapping my my camping trip. That's what I'm doing right now. Breaks or breaks my guy? No worries. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was much needed. I got to do a lot of thinking. I did. So anywho, I made curry on day 1. I had a campfire going from around like 536 to around like 11. So I had like a five hour campfire and I was just sitting and just looking at the fire and thinking, you know, eating curry. Dude, I ate, I ate curry immediately after it was done cooking and I was just kind of like dipping into the pot. <laughs> I, what are your favorite parts of camping? Ben pool, like without, without any hesitation, the campfire is my favorite part of camping. Like the sun sets and you, I get a campfire. I've got plenty of wood and I'm just like burning. I'm just, I'm just burning wood, staring into a campfire. That's my favorite part of camping. My second favorite part is hiking. I actually like the campfire part more than hiking because I can hike without camping. You know, I can go on day hikes. Like I can go out there and then hike for a day and then come back home. So I don't need a camp to hike, but like, I do need to camp to get a campfire. Yeah. <clears throat> do you like s'mores, Renan? Roasting, roasting fish over an open flame? Yeah. Those are two different things though, right, all? Those are two different things. I like s'mores and I got to eat s'mores while I was camping. No fish though, no fish. <clears throat> The top hat, hello, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. The Incredible Hulk really mellowed out post Thanos. He got a job at a desk and now he's camping and hiking. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, I got to do a lot of thinking. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't figure out while I was, you know, doing my streaming work, work schedule, like why I was getting kind of like annoyed at the VTubing aspect, but it's it's entirely the 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 VOD issue. 
the VOD issue, like, actually, it still bothers me. It still bothers me right now, but I remember get. I, I do recall getting, like, actually pretty angry. Like, not annoyed, like, into the angry tier as I was downloading my VODs and uploading them. So it's like downloading a 5 gigabyte VOD, getting angry, and then uploading a 5 gigabyte VOD, still being pretty angry and thinking, oh my god, I have to do 150 of these. This is so stupid. So it's like... I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to do the playlist thing and forget about it. Am I Chu? Hello. Welcome. Unfortunately, I do not speak Spanish. I apologize. <laughs> but welcome. Hello. I was able to do a lot of thinking. I was trying to think of, um, all right. So I was, <laughs> I was actually trying to think of stream ideas, like VTubing ideas, what to do. And then around like the the middle of day two, when I was on a second hike on day two, that was uh, Saturday, mid hike on Saturday, I was like, just just forget about everything and just, just camp, dude. Just camp, just camp. Uh, <clears throat> license revoked, hello. Welcome back, welcome back. Where legs must be so sore. Yeah, Cliff, uh, my, it's not, my legs like the meat of my legs it's my feet the soles of my feet are just like so sore oh <sighs> Kara says i'm also on vacation right now and i'm letting everything go that's the key you know when you're on vacation you can't think about you can't think about work I wouldn't consider VTubing work, but it's it's definitely like an effort and energy intensive hobby. You shouldn't be thinking about your hobbies, you know, that like can add to your stress. It's better just to you need to get some inserts for your boots. Dude, Tiffany, like my 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 backpacking set is actually like pretty on point. When I was in shape and camping regularly and, and hiking regularly. My boots are like perfect. Like they're perfectly broken in. They're actually, they might be wearing down in the sole, not the soles, the um, soles, not the soles. They're wearing down a little bit, but I think I still got at least like a thousand, not a thousand, 600, 700 miles on them. I think the reason why my feet hurt is just, I'm weak. I'm weak now, Tiffany, I'm weak. I'm just completely out of shape. <clears throat> Do we stress you out? Benpool, it's not the viewers that stress me out. I think it's more about um, like video making. Video making definitely stresses me out. The idea that I need to try to make an interesting stream at least once a week, typically Thursdays, sometimes Saturdays, you know? I wanna like flip those two. Like one is a free chat and one is like an interesting stream, which by the way, did you guys like my idea? <laughs> I thought that idea up on the way home. Like I was, it's a, three it's like a four hour drive three four hour drive from the campground to my apartment like i was driving home and i was like okay now i can think about vtubing let's try to think of something interesting to do this thursday we're, we're doing we're doing a eat or tickle league of legends edition <laughs> i didn't know that there were 150 league of legends characters so it's like yeah it's good perfect <clears throat> Randon, you're gonna explain your upcoming Thursday. Yes, I thought I thought up the concept while I was driving home, and I like it. I'm proud of it. Backpacking is on fleek. Is fleek still turn. I have no idea. I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's confusing, but it's a lot more say so than Pokemon Smasher Pass. That's one thing. That's one reason why I did that, Astro. Okay, I did it because the Smasher Pass was kind of fun. But also, I felt bad. I didn't like the feeling of of it being like smash or pass, positive or negative, right? So like eat or tickle is more ambiguous, right? <laughs> eat or tickle is like, is eat better than tickle? Is tickle better than eat? I don't know. So so it's not like a it's not like a value judgment. It's more of like, you know, I I, I like it. I like it better than smash or pass, you know. Hope I can catch it. I have D&D on Thursday. If not, you have VODs activated. I do, Tiffany. And I will try to transfer the VODs from Twitch over to YouTube so they don't disappear after like 
two weeks or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I did a double take reading that on the schedule. <laughs> I'm curious how you determine whether to eat or tickle. Okay. So eat is like literally eat. There's no, there's no, there's no sexual innuendo there. Like when I say eat, I mean I would literally eat that character. Like for calories. <laughs> and then tickle is just like, I just want to tickle them. So it's kind of like. I guess eat is negative and tickle is positive, but it's also kind of ambiguous, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Please do not eat the children. Are there children characters in League of Legends? Like I said before, I have i don't think I've ever played a single game of League of Legends. I've played Dota. I played the original Dota when it was on the World of Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, the Warcraft 3 client. And then I played like maybe 20 hours of Dota 2 when it got on Steam, but I've never played a single game of League. So, yeah. <clears throat> Wet sea goat. Hello. Welcome. No, but if something looks like shiny candy, you want to eat them. It's true. It's true. <sighs> Would you eat or tickle me, Onigiri? Oh, definitely eat. Definitely eat. It's got to be eat. Yeah. Oh, my neck. It's killing me. Renan, I swear I should make a mod for League that puts you in the game. Can you mod League like that? I actually didn't know. Huh. There's like two 10 year olds in the game. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sinburner says, I've played one game of League. I was called a slur if I remember correctly. Good times. I mean, that's multiplayer gaming. It sucks that you have to play with like. A bunch of assholes, but that's that's I guess that's like multiplayer gaming, right? <laughs> League is teams of five. You could recruit four mods and get really confused with them. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna play League. Like to to clarify, this is not a this is not this is not a prelude to me actually playing League. I'm still never gonna play League. It's just. I think it would be funny if I looked at every single League character and I don't know their names, I don't know anything about them, I don't have any context and just deciding whether I would eat or tickle them, right? <laughs> <clears throat> moe Moe Pam, hello, welcome. Hope you had a good trip. I'm leaving the stream up in the background while I work overtime. Oh man, you're doing overtime? That makes me sad. Moe, moe like I do a lot of overtime on a certain time of the year, not right now. And I hate it. I hate doing overtime. Ugh. Especially if you're a salaried worker. That's just like, that's time theft. Anywho, welcome. I appreciate it. I'm not touching League. 100% understandable. Yeah. Yo, Nexenoft, welcome back. Hello, hello. The game is mostly full of waifus. Is it? Is it? I'd sooner return to Overwatch than League. <laughs> Everything about League is good except the game. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought up that stream concept on the way home. Man, I really wish I'm going to I'm going to start going on walks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually have a couple I have a Wendy's that I live within walking distance of, and I usually drive. It, it's only about a mile away, right? So I usually drive there because it's like, it's a mile, I don't wanna walk a mile. I'm gonna, I'm, if I ever go eat out, from this, from, from this point forward, and you guys can hold me to it, from this point forward, if I go to a local fast food place to pick up food because I'm too lazy to eat, I'm gonna walk there. I will never drive there, I will walk there, and that's gonna get me back in shape, I think, in theory. <laughs> in theory. Most of my knowledge about League came from Arcane. <laughs> <sighs> I, I didn't watch Arcane. 
<laughs> because I don't play League. So to my brain is like, why would I? Why would I watch Arcane if I don't play League? Why would I do that? So, <clears throat> Tomato, hello, welcome. The Wendy's you made car noises on the way too. <laughs> This is a reminder that you should watch Arcane. Yeah, yeah. Renan, would you ever play Dota on stream? Absolutely not. I will never play a MOBA on stream, ever. <laughs> I, I would, I'm more likely to, to play a shooter, like an FPS than a, than a MOBA. Like I'm not gonna play MOBA on stream. It's a pretty good show. Okay, okay. FPS farts per second. <laughs> the story is self-contained, so you don't have to know League to enjoy it. Okay, okay. I walked to the grocery store recently. It was two kilometers there and another two back. Carrying a big bag of rice home made me feel a little regretty. Yeah, and it's gonna like cut into your hands, right? Astro, I would, I would take like a hiking backpack if I ever did that. I would take a hiking backpack. Gotta get those strong leggies on the way to Wendy's. Yeah, yeah. I play League and I might be a bit biased. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that League is a bad game. I think the reason why I wouldn't play it on stream ever is because I wouldn't trust my teammates not to say weird shit, right? So the precondition to playing League would be like, I'd have to fill my team with people I know are not going to say fucked up shit on stream, right? And I, th so that that basically means I would have to, in order to play League, I'd have to do a, a four person collab. Turn off all chat. Oh, that might be a good idea. You could mute your team. Yeah. You think your friends are immune to League Salt? I don't know. <laughs> When I carry big groceries home, I feel like I'm the hobbit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Doji, hello, welcome. When I teach people League, the first thing I tell them to do is turn off all chat. Yeah! Although, it's a team-based game. It's a team-based game. Doesn't it, doesn't it like give you a significant, um, does it give you does, doesn't it give you a significant disadvantage if you play league with all communication off? You can communicate with pings. Oh, okay. Is there is there a disadvantage or is it like not really, you know? I don't know. Mods are out of the question then. Nothing bigger that comes out of our mouth. Some of the things we say are pretty weird champ. Weird champ is fine. I say weird champ. I feel like I'm more weird champ than any of my mods, honestly. I'm definitely more weird champ than Gray. Maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> People can still angry ping spam you. <laughs> There's no point in talking to the opponents. It's true. From what I understand, people won't listen to chat anyways, but I've only played like five games, so yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's nice to be in voice chat with a group that you trust, but the chat really isn't necessary. Oh, okay. You've definitely said hello weird champ stuff. Yeah. It's pretty much my brand now. I haven't played Dota since Warcraft 3. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoying some League of Legends. I I don't think I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Thank you though. I appreciate the offer. You and all are the most likely to say weird champ things. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a that's a pretty good assessment. <sighs> so back to the camping trip. I spent I spent probably about five hours a night. Two nights, five hours a night, so like 10, 10 hours total just staring into a campfire. It's just, it's just a good feeling. Oh man. Just having a campfire, I don't know, something about like my lizard orc brain looks at fire, 
looks at a fire that I made and I am maintaining by throwing wood into it and it's just like, is good. Yep, no bugs, no bugs. Well, there were flies, but... Cause you know, like if you're camping and you're preparing food outdoors, there's gonna be flies. They had flies out there, but no mosquitoes, you know? Yeah, 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 there were flies. Did you purify your camp with sage? No. What program was running on Bush TV? Man. <clears throat> My favorite part of looking into a campfire, which is colloquially known as, as Bush, Bush television. Think about it like a lot of stuff, you know? It's a nice time to, to think about the stuff that you kind of like packed away. I don't know. And I'm not talking about the stuff that I worry about week to week, like work stuff or stream related stuff. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like my college days. It's like, man, remember that shit that went down you when you were in college, which is like 10 years ago? Or like my childhood It's like, yeah, remember that shit? And you're just kind of like, yeah, that was, that was, that was shit. <laughs> Ninja, hello, welcome. You just woke up for work? Okay, okay. I hope you have a good day at work. <clears throat> when I see a fire, my brain goes lizard and wants to commit arson. I feel like when I was a young buck, yeah, setting fire to random stuff was like kind of kind of cool, right? But now that I'm old, I like the idea of a campfire because it's like it's functional. It's it got pretty cold out there, by the way. It was like mid forties. So a campfire was doing a lot of good, you know? A campfire does a lot of good. A campfire is functional, and it's also cool. I don't know how to describe it. <clears throat> Renan, I used to go to college in Arizona. Behind my school was a huge mountain that people could hike all the time. Cool, cool. The only thing I remember from uni is the dead guy in the basement. What the hell are you talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> Orc ancestor approve a fire provides dopamine. Yeah. Tiffany says, I like to play with fire. It helps to be resistant. Yes. Yes. Tieflings have a racial resistance to fire, which is actually pretty excellent. Because fire is, is is an extremely common type of damage, right? I feel like DMs love to throw fireballs back at the party. Because fireball is an incredibly overpowered spell for the third level. And if you're a tiefling, you're like, you just automatically take half damage. Sweet. Sweet. <clears throat> Campfires are just you doing arson but contained, yes. My university is built on and next to a huge arboretum. Yo, I know what an arboretum is! That's so cool. It's good for hiking and exploring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't live... Unfortunately, like, I don't think I've ever lived within walking distance to a hiking trail. Ever. I always have to, like, drive to one or two hours out to get to a hiking trail which is uh, which is a shame <clears throat> good for hiking and exploring I would like to be a thief <laughs> hey, dial it back ninja I appreciate it dial it back I didn't ask how big the room was I said I cast fire back my university is really big and my favorite part is the biological sciences building that was built by two different contractors who hated each other so it's super fucked impossible to get around as a bunch of half floors
I don't really have many stories from my camping trip. Now that I'm thinking about it, it was pretty uneventful. I mostly used it to relax. I, uh... I had a minor issue with my tent. That's not really the, the fault of my tent, though. It's, uh... It's like... It was hard. It was hard. It was hard to... <laughs> It was hard to stake down my tent because I went camping in the desert. So the the ground was like rock hard. It was very smooth, which is excellent. With the sleeping pad, it was very, very comfortable sleep, right? But I just I just could not stake down my tent because I didn't bring a hammer. I didn't bring like a mallet. You always forget something, right? So I had to go over to the next door camp site and I asked them, I asked to borrow a hammer, right? And they gave it to me. They gave it to me. You know, I have, I, there are no rocks out there, right? <laughs> because it's the desert. There are no rocks that were big enough that, to like hammer down. So I had to go over to the next campsite and I asked to borrow the ha a hammer if they had one. And they did. They lent it to me. I hammered in the tent stakes, right? Came back and then I thanked them and I gave the the, the the hammer back. That was uh an unexpected social interaction that I did not expect to have to do. Other than that, I didn't really talk to anybody. You know, I don't really carry a hatchet. I don't. I uh <clears throat> How do I describe my method for cutting wood? I I have a big knife. <laughs> I have a big knife and I and I and my method for for splitting wood in half is I take the big knife and then I take another stick of wood and then I hammer the knife into the stick of wood and then I like split it in half that way. That's the best way to describe how I do it. Hatchets are nice, but I don't think I've ever needed to use one in the wilderness, you know? How do you keep camping food fresh? I have a I have an ice box. Yeah. I have a pretty decent, it's pretty expensive. I have a pretty expensive ice box and I uh, fill it with ice, fill it with food. Just, just leave it in there on the weekend. Did you make a campfire near your tent or did you need to make it in a specific area? Yes, actually. Um, I have a backpacking tent, which is very, very lightweight. And the rain fly is so light and so thin that even a, like the tiniest spark the tiniest like piece of burning ash can burn a hole into the fly so you, i need to make sure that i keep it like a fair distance from my tent yeah so i did i did i, I was careful to do that hugh helix helix hello welcome back <clears throat> you had a great camping trip didn't see the announcement in discord so i thought oh i forgot to do that i forgot to I forgot to do a Discord announcement. <laughs> I actually didn't even think about that. My mind was just like, I, I didn't even consider that. Maybe I should, uh, whatever, I'm, it's fine. I might actually keep it to a pretty short stream today too, because I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Astro announced it in general chat. Ah, I see, I see. <clears throat> How's the water bottle that you needed to wash? It was good. It was good. Cooking on rocks is fine. Just boil the rock first. What are you talking about? Brandon, I'm just happy that you were able to get a break that you deserve. Yeah, it was much needed. I think... I don't think I need to do that too much, but I think once a year is, is pretty fair. Once a year? I'll give myself one break a year. <laughs> I knew you asked about it recently and was all for it, so I hope you did go on a nice little recharge trip. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Announced it back on the weekend. There was no stream on Saturday, but that's about it. Ah, I see. Twice every three months? That's too much. <laughs> I, I, all right, here's the thing. One, I'm, I'm, I think it's good to do one a year. And I think next year, 
next year, I might take a slightly longer one, you know? This one was kind of like, this one was kind of short notice. I did it without very much planning, but I think next year, I want to... Next year, I want to take my break, like, in January. Yeah. I want to take my break in January because I prefer winter camping to spring camping. I like cold weather camping. And I'm going to book a nicer campground. I think I want to go to, like, Big Sur or somewhere, like, you know, like Yosemite, Yosemite, Big Sur, something like that. And uh, maybe I'll go for, like, a week, you know? Like, just go camping for, like, the entire week, which is ideal. Did you bring anti-bear stuff with you no i went camping in the desert there's no there's no bears in the desert you know yeah take as much time as you need yeah i think like a i'm satisfied with the three day two night camping trip but definitely for me i enjoy i enjoy longer camping trips because I don't like setting up camp. I don't like breaking camp and packing everything away. And so like, if I'm only camping for one night, it feels like a waste, right? It's like, man, I spent all that energy setting up camp for one night. Two nights is like my minimum where it's like, I feel like it was worth it. And if I can get three or four nights, it's like perfect, you know, perfect. Man, my, I'm like really congested. You know what it is? There's like a lot of dust in my in my computer space right now. Oh my god, that's a lot of dust. I need to clean my room. My room is there's not a lot of clutter in my room, right? There's not a whole lot of clutter in my room. Like I don't keep random. Well, I have a hammer. That's a little weird, but I, like I hate dust. Like oh my god, look at this dust right here. Get out of here. <clears throat> Don't sleep on desert bears. What's your opinion on those bag showers that use sunlight to heat the water? Astro, I've I've never bought one, but I've seen them and I've used one. They work okay. They're okay. I think the main issue of those those types of shower bags is um Are you are you like where do you set it up in a way where you're not naked? Where anybody could see you, right? Like you kind of have to set up like uh like you kind of you kind of have to like screen the area, which is like eh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a I'm a professional at filling up a water bottle and then using it to like using it to like pour over my head over a sink and then I and then I like I shampoo my hair and then i pour more water over it and then you just you just, you just uh, wash your hair over a sink you know i have a hammer that's a little weird <laughs> wait don't you have a baseball bat for back massage and a golf ball for launching yes i do have golf balls right here and i do have my baseball bat it's over there by my bed you know shower during camping yeah a couple campgrounds have showers which is nice but it's not normal most campgrounds don't really have showers yeah the bat is for his mods <laughs> uh. i wish i had interesting stories to tell you guys about my camping trip it was mostly just me hiking and relaxing. Yeah. My feet are very, very sore. Uh, uh. Oh, my hydration pack was not moldy. Yeah. I just had to clean it out a little bit. If you want to shower in peace, just do a bear impersonation really fast and people will clear the area. And then a ranger will come in with like a long rifle. <laughs> That's a good way to get, like, a ranger to show up with, like, a rifle. <laughs> Baseball. You know? I kind of have a really bad crick in my neck. Oh, that hurts. And it didn't... It wasn't there when I came home. Oh, my God. I came home from camping. 
You know what's the best fucking feeling in the world? You know what's the best feeling in the world? When you go on a camping trip and you're like sleeping on the floor, on the ground, and it's cold, and yeah, it's not that comfortable, right? The best feeling is coming home from a long camping trip, taking a shit in your toilet, yes, right there, taking a long, hot shower in your shower, and then cranking up your air conditioning and just laying in bed. That's like the best feeling in the world, like laying in a dark room with the air conditioning cranked up, like after you've been camping all weekend. Oh, it's just a beautiful feeling. Oh, and I got sunburned. I got, I got sunburned. It was not super bad. Man, have you ever been sunburned so badly that, um, like, there are, like, bubbles? Like, your skin starts to bubble? You guys, you guys ever, you guys ever have that? Like, you get a sunburn so bad that, like, your sweat pools underneath the, the dead layer of skin and then it starts this little, like, bubble. It wasn't that bad. I've had I've had a sunburn that bad before. Of course I bring sunscreen, Astro. You still get sunburned though, because I went on like a four hour hike, you know? You go on a four hour hike and you start to sweat it off, and it's just it's just you get sunburned. It's just it's just this is what happens. <clears throat> He had me in the first part, not gonna lie. For me, it's peeling off the clothing I was wearing for a week straight, having a shower and passing out of my own bed. Yup, yup. So that happened. I came home around like 1.30 in the afternoon, took a shower, took a shit. Well, took a shit first and then I took a shower. And then I laid in bed with the air condition cranked all the way up and it felt really, really good and really comfy, right? And then you know what I did to take it up to the next level? You know what I did to take it up to the, the absolute highest level possible of comfort? I got up, I, I ordered and ate an entire pizza. I got a delivery pizza, right? And I, and I washed my sheets and my blanket. There's no better feeling than washing, like sleeping on clean sheets. Like freshly cleaned sheets is like, oh, <laughs> it's such a good feeling. Oh, there's no better feeling. I slept so well yesterday. It was so, I think I slept like 11 hours and I woke up with a crick in my neck, I think, because I slept too long. <clears throat> what kind of pizza? Just a, just a, just a classic, uh, pepperoni and mushroom pizza, you know? <laughs> Senzu, Senzu, Senzu was the one that, that alerted me to, to the godly feeling of sleeping on clean sheets. So I spent three hours washing them and my dirty, like, hiking clothes and stuff like that. And then I just, man, I was sleeping on clean sheets rock, which is why I have three sets that I cycle through. That is some big brain energy. I should do that too. I've only got the one set. I don't have a second set of sheets. I should, uh, I should, I should get like a second set. That's actually a really good idea. Well, I, 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 I wash my bedding every, every two months, every three months. Is that like not enough? Is that not enough? Should I, should I be washing my sheets more than every, like, three months? <laughs> That's a long time. That's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a grungy orc. Leave me alone. <laughs> Low poly prototype. Hello. Welcome. I swap sheets every other week. Okay. All right. I think you're supposed to be washing them every two weeks. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys hear that? That's a golf ball. Oh shit, there's the other one. Okay, I got it. I should I should get that golf ball. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> you should at least wash your pillowcase once a week. I guess I'm like really filthy. Better than my housemates who have no sheets. <laughs> Sleeping in his musky sheets, thinking that it's normal. I mean, yeah, I probably should. To be fair, yeah, I shower before going to bed. Yeah, 
I don't know. All I know is that when I lived with my roommates in Brooklyn, in the f three years that I lived in Brooklyn with, with my roommates that were illustrators, professional illustrators, I don't think they ever washed their sheets. And I distinctly remember, because we all used to go to the laundromat together to do our laundry, and they would see me washing my sheets and they would be like, seems like a waste of space. And it's like, that's insane, dude. Wash your fucking sheets. In three years, I don't think I ever saw either of my roommates. Well, to be fair, one of my roommates slept on a mattress on the ground. One of my roommates slept on a mattress on the ground with no sheets on the mattress. There was no sheet on the mattress, so it was just like an uncovered mattress. And he had like a blanket over the top. My other roommate had a bed with a bed frame with sheets on it, but he never washed the sheets. Too lazy to wash my blanket, but I washed everything else. Yeah, you know. I don't know, dude. College guys are gross. They're just like nasty. You spend a third of your day on that thing. Yeah, yeah. A mattress on the floor, that's not good for your mattress either. Yeah. And we had like, we had like rats in that building. We had a lot of rats in that apartment building. Did I ever tell you guys the story about like, I'd come home from work? Not work, I'd come home from school. And uh, in, in New York, in New York City, they just leave their trash in bags on the side of the street. They just, they just leave bags of trash on the side of the street on trash day. And it makes the street like really sticky. And I remember walking home to my apartment and like rats would be shooting out of the bar, uh, out of the trash bags, like across the sidewalk, like into back into the apartments. As I was like walking past like trash bags, like these rats would be shooting out of them. So it's like, this guy is sleeping on a mattress on the ground in a rat infested apartment in Brooklyn. <clears throat> oh my God. Rat jam, let's go. <laughs> We're rat jamming. <clears throat> People still sweat in their sleep. You gotta wash it, man. Yeah, I, I maybe I should wash it more than every like two or three months. <laughs> I should probably replace, I should probably get a second pair of sheets and then like swap them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, it depends seasonally, you know, once a month they're in cold season, but since I sweat a lot more during the spring, summer, I wash them more often. I see, I see. You have a hug pillow. Unfortunately not, no. Did you see the rat pulling a whole piece of slice? Yes, that, that picture became popular when I was in school. That was like the, the mascot, the emblem of New York City. Like every New Yorker that I knew empathized heavily with that rat pulling a pizza slice up the steps of, a, of the subway, you know? The rats of New York is an aesthetic. <laughs> I had a gross college roommate who never washed sheets. Now he opened a laundry shop and has to wash it every day. <laughs> <laughs> you linked the sheets. I IKEA sheets tend to be a little bit too. IKEA sheets tend to rip on me, you know? I do, I do select, I like, I like the thicker sheets, like the higher quality sheets. Yeah. I'll go get a second pair. How did we go, how did we go from talking about camping to talking about sheets? I don't even remember. Ah, yeah, I washed, I washed my sheets yesterday before I went to sleep and it was like the best sleep ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I'm changing my sheets before I sleep tonight. Yo, Pixel, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Do you tumble a lot in your sleep? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I moved that much. How do you know? How does one find out? Now I'm getting like, <clears throat> what is the frequency that you wash sheets per month or year? 
two, like two or three months. Yeah, every every two months or so. <laughs> if your pillow ends up three feet across the room, then you tumble a lot. I never, that's never happened to me. I don't think I've ever, yeah. Have I ever woken up and like my head wasn't under a pillow? I don't think I, that, that ever happens to me. My pillow stays under my head. My feet reach the bottom of the bed. Dude! <laughs> my feet, my feet hang over the edge of my bed. If I'm like even slightly, like the only way my feet don't hang over the edge of my bed is if my head is is touching my headboard. <laughs> and even then, like my feet are slightly over the edge. They're like an inch or two over the edge. In order to like completely, in order to, you know, like, what, do, what bed do I have? I think I have a queen. I think I have a queen size bed. I, I can't get a king size bed in my apartment. Like the, the room is just way too small. Yeah. Yeah, I lay diagonal on a queen size bed. Yeah, I do that too. I have to lay diagonal to get like my bed, my feet comfortably and my feet and my head comfortably like on the bed. Yeah. I have to lay diagonally on a queen bed. <laughs> like... If, if I'm laying down in bed and I've got like three or four inches between my head and my headboard, which I think is fair. Three inches like should be like a comfortable distance between your headboard and your head, right? My feet hang over the edge of the bed and it's like, ugh, ugh. You have a single. Senzu, Senzu. <laughs> Do you make sure to have space for the uh, the little hair, the little, little ahoge? <laughs> Is that why your feet hang over? <laughs> I have a double and it's perfect. Oh, I see. I sleep like a stiff plank. <clears throat> They take up the end of the bed since my feet don't reach. <laughs> that reminds me. I would like to ask everybody hanging out in my chat a question. Does your hair count towards your total height? Senzu, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out like what, what the general public thinks right here. If you have an ahoge, like a little like stick of hair sticking up, does it count? Does it count towards your height? Ouch. Senzu, ouch. Senzu, look at that. Oh, we're getting you're getting destroyed. Yes, it counts. I will die on this hill. <laughs> I I am I am neutral on this. <laughs> I am completely neutral. I don't think I don't really lean towards one way or the other. This is a bully sensu stream. It's more like an antenna. It's more of an attachment than the actual part. Okay. Can I can I play the devil's advocate chat? Can I play the devil's advocate? Can I play the devil's advocate? When people are measuring the height of a skyscraper, when people are measuring the height of a skyscraper, does the height stop at the top floor? Or does the height stop at that like little like at that little like pointy thing at the top of every skyscraper? Every skyscraper has a little pointy thing at the top, right? It's got a pointy thing at the top where like nobody fucking lives there, nobody fucking works at the pointy thing at the top of a skyscraper, right? Like you you measure a skyscraper at the top of the point, pointy part, right? Yeah, they measure the little antenna thing, right? So like and I get that, like, you measure a building and you measure a, a person and there, there there's differences between measuring a, a person and a building. I agree with that. I agree that there, there are differences. But I'm just saying that there is an argument to count the ahoge, right? There is, there is an argument to count the ahoge. That's what I'm just saying. There is an argument. I'm not saying that buildings and humans buildings and people are the exact same thing they're not i'm just saying like you know okay but the doctor doesn't measure here I, I understand i understand 
I'm not saying that Senzu is right and you guys are wrong. I'm just saying, like, playing devil's advocate, you know? Antenna are permanent. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. You can count the spire, but not the antenna. Okay. Wait, do horns count? I think... All right, all right. That's a good question, too, right? Like, look at that. Do horns count? Because horns are permanent, right? Horns are more permanent than hair, at least. Would you count the horns towards height? Horns also do not count. Oh, that's rough. I'd include a horn faster than an ahoge. Gonna hairspray my ahoge to make it longer. I will be tall. <laughs> my horns don't count before and after. No. Horns do not count. Oh my god. No, they don't. <laughs> This is getting serious. This is getting serious. I want more water. I'll be back. I want to. I want to. I want to get more water. It's only going to take like a minute, thirty seconds. And I want to see. I want to see. I want to see good arguments for or against horns and 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 hair. All right. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, let's check the discourse. Tim Kirk's character from the darkness would like to have some words. <laughs> horns do not count on the account that they grow at a different rate from your body. What constitute horns? Deer antlers are a kind of horn. Okay, okay. So close to greatness. What about horns that don't grow up? That's true. You got the little like side curling horns? Yeah. Grebo Glorious Gravelings, welcome back. Hello, hello. Horns should count, but only at a certain density of scalp coverage. Okay. They need specific measurements. Does this mean you can make a short skyscraper, but have a really long antenna? Like, what's the minimum height for a skyscraper at 30 floors? I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, my neck is killing me. Oh. I slept, like, 10 or 11 hours, and I woke up. I'm not really, I don't. Not really good at side sleeping, so. Oh man, it's killing me. I want to take another shower and like a hot shower to like loosen up the neck muscles and hit it a couple hours with my baseball bat. I want to baseball bat this kink out of my neck. Ugh. A humanoid's height is from the base of the foot to the top of the scalp, period. Fair, fair. Love how when you go away, your model leans back and when you came back, it approaches slowly as if walking back. <laughs> ah. Do people compare horn sizes like PP length? I don't think so, Gaspacho. To my knowledge, no. I know a couple people that have horns, but I don't think they, I don't think they, uh, I don't think they do stuff like that, you know? I need a baseball bat in my neck, for sure. Oh, man. What if the hair is like living tendrils or tentacles? Would that, do you guys know Rail? Rail? They're, they're really cool. They've got the whole, like, mouth hair thing going on. Old tractor guy, hello. If you have to duck to miss door jam, you count it. Okay, I like it. This is an interesting way to, to yeah, like, if your height, hmm. 
But then, like, what if you have, like, a gigantic hat? Hmm. No, but it's a hat. You could just take that off, right? Okay. If you have to duck to miss a door jam, you count it. Yeah, I like that. Doug Dimmadome of <laughs> Dimsdale's Dimmadome <laughs> opens Photoshop to make adjustments to my horse. <laughs> Do tumors add to the height? <laughs> this height discord is, is getting serious. Yeah, it's something that uh, people take seriously, you know? Senzu, I'm sorry. I, it seems like most of my regulars disagree with you. The Ahoge does not count towards the height. But, but horns is a little bit more, a little bit more contested. <clears throat> what if it's a small door? Exactly. Exactly. If your tail sticks up real far and high, does it count? That's a good question. You guys still fit in doors? <laughs> you know the skull lengthening stuff from the Incans? Does that make you taller? I mean... If, if we go to, like, scalp, right? Then yes, right? Like a long basilisk tail. Yeah. I'd count a long skull. Yeah. I remember not being able to fit into doors. <laughs> what, what, what is the cursed Vegeta theory? I was a big fan of Dragon Ball when I was a lad. So I'm kind of interesting. I'm I'm interested in this cursed Vegeta theory. What is it? Lay it on me. Oh man. Here's why I wouldn't count hair. I have thick hair, so the longer it gets, the more it weighs, which means my height would vary depending on how long my hair is. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> the Antlered Alchemist. Hello, thank you for the raid. Welcome. We're we're winding down. I think I'm gonna call it a short stream tonight. I think uh I think I, I'm having fun chatting with you guys. I would like to go back into Stardew Valley, but um my neck kinda hurts, you know? I kinda wanna I kinda wanna take it easy, because I did I man, I did I did go on several hikes, you know? My body needs to rest a little bit. I actually thought about skipping work today, but I suspected and I was correct in thinking that I had a lot of work built up because I skipped on, I didn't skip, I took the day off on Friday. So if I skipped work today, then I would have had like an insane amount of work to do. Like, ugh. You know that his hair isn't like super spiky. His skull is just shaped like the hair. Oh, so he's got like a big old like alien head. I like that. I like that theory. I wouldn't call it cursed. I think it's funny that his head is like gigantic. <laughs> I was hoping the cursed theory would have something to do with his mustache. He had like a mustache in like a single arc. And it's like, you know. <clears throat> Do tails count towards height? Like the length of a crocodile counts towards counts the tail. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. Two hours is a pretty good stream. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent, you know? Antlered Alchemist, hello. How's your stream? What were you up to? Yo, Stardew Valley? I should alright. Yeah. I I should be playing Stardew Valley, but I realized that. It's, it's hard for me to chat while I'm playing Stardew Valley because I'm a try-hard... I'm a try-hard min-maxer when it comes to Stardew Valley. So it's really hard for me to chat and, like, look over and respond to people while I'm playing Stardew Valley. So I had to switch to just chatting. <laughs> <clears throat> Oof. You did camp, like, rest as soon as possible. Yeah, I got that 10 hours of rest, but I'm, I think I'm ready to sleep a little bit more. You know? But then there's Napa. <laughs> Tiny face, massive head. <laughs> I want 
watch Jujutsu Kaisen Zero? Yeah, I'm interested in that too. I... I usually hate overpowered characters, but there's something about Gojo that I like. The, I think the reason why I'm okay with Gojo as an overpowered character when I usually dislike overpowered characters is that Gojo is like a fucking asshole. Gojo is like a prick and everybody hates him. Like every every good character just hates Gojo, which is why I'm okay with Gojo <laughs> being overpowered. <laughs> I just love that everybody hates him. <laughs> Yo, Uglut, Uglut, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Prepare yourself, humans, for being fire and blood. <laughs> thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Uglut, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it soon. I went on a weekend camping trip. This is three three days, two nights. I did a lot of hiking. Ah, and I feel really my mind feels refreshed. If that makes any sense. My mind feels rested and refreshed, but my body is like exhausted. Like my body is just aching everywhere. And I'm like, I'm ready to like rest, you know? Start to be like that. <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend. It was a beautiful weekend. I, I was so happy. <clears throat> There's like... I think my favorite type... All right, so everybody's got, like, a favorite type of potato, right? I think that's the standard is, like, french fries. Like, people like fries and potato wedges, right? My favorite way of eating a potato is a, is a fire-baked potato. Something about, something about, like, a baked potato that's been baked in a campfire tastes better and different than, like, an oven. Or like an air fryer, you know? You know? Something about like a fire baked potato is is different. It hits different, man. It's so good. I shit you guys are gonna think you guys are gonna think that I'm <laughs> You guys are gonna think that like I eat way too much. How many are right, how many baked potatoes do you think I ate over the weekend? It was three days, two nights, right? Like how many baked potatoes do you think I, I made? Over the weekend. <laughs> we got he got it on the first try. Gregory Soto got it right. I ate 15 potatoes. <laughs> and like they're good cold too, man. They're good cold. It's just eating potatoes all weekend. Yeah, I had 15 potatoes. <laughs> it's, it's good hiking food, man. It's good hiking food. I ran and caused the Irish potato famine. <laughs> Cause they're so good cold, you know? You make you make a whole bunch of them in tin foil or uh aluminum foil. And then and then you let them get cold and then they're good cold too, man. They're good cold too. Y'all cook your potatoes? Munch on a rock solid dry potato. <laughs> <clears throat> I am potato. I have embraced potato. You are what you eat. You need the calories on them hikes, yeah. I mean, like, um, the Saturday hike that I went on was uh, an eight and a half mile loop. An eight mile loop. I went on an eight mile hike on Saturday. And uh, I took, like, six potatoes. <laughs> I just took six potatoes and, uh, and a sandwich that I made. And, uh, and like... I think every 20 to 30 minutes, I would just pull out a potato and just eat a potato while I was walking. Because you can eat the potato while you're walking. You don't need to stop to eat a potato, you know? It's just good. I might have eaten more than 15 potatoes because I put the potatoes in the curry too, right? I'm still shocked that I was right. I thought I was overshooting it. <clears throat> 44. The best way to eat, to bake a potato over a campfire... Do not put in the potato while the fire is still like a fire. The best way to bake potatoes is to let the let the fire burn down to coals. You know what I'm talking about? Like when it's down to like coals, right? That's when you that's when you put the the potatoes onto the onto the fire. 
and then you turn them over like every 15 or 20 minutes not 15 20 minutes i'd say like every five minutes you just you just take a stick and then you you turn them over like every five minutes you know Tiffany asks, do you put anything on your potatoes? I like I like sour cream over butter, but I do like a buttered potato. But Tiffany, when I'm camping, I just eat potato and I salt it. When I'm when I'm eating in a camp, I strongly prefer a hot baked potato with just salt. You just you just put salt over it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm eating a baked potato at home, it's gotta be sour cream for me at least. You know, it's got to be sour cream. But I think that the reason why I don't put sour cream when I'm camping is just because I kind of like to keep it simple. I like I like less stuff, you know, I like bringing out less stuff. A buttered potato is so good. Yeah, I do like it. I'm not saying that buttered potatoes suck and sour cream potatoes are better. I'm just saying like it's like a what do you what do I like better? I got to choose one, you know. Mushy, crunchy, yeah, yeah. You ever had Top the Tater? I don't know what that is. I've never had it before. Oh, but Tiffany, you know, you know what I had? I made chili. I made chili Saturday night. And my favorite way to eat chili is to get like, I have a special bowl. <laughs> I have a special like deep bowl and I put in a hot baked potato, crack that bitch open and then I just pour chili over it and then put cheese on top. Cheese and a little bit of like green onion. And yeah. And I and I put in so much chili that you can't see the potato anymore. And I have to like dig down to get at the potato. Oh, so good. <laughs> Dude, baked potato and chili after an eight mile hike. Oh, food just tastes so much better when you're camping. And it's like, it's like simple food. You know what I'm talking about? It's not like, it's not like highly, it's not carefully prepared. You just throw that shit into a, into a, into a pot and you turn on the fire. There's no, there's no like temperature control. There's no, there's no, there's no sous vide. Who the fuck sous vide's in a fucking campground? Like, it's simple fucking food that you make at a campground. Vodka is made from potatoes, yes. <laughs> You're so random, dude. Dial it back. <laughs> chili poutine is the Lord's food. Is there such a thing as chili poutine? We have Canadians here. Astro, is it okay to put chili over poutine? Or is it considered like heretical by some Canadians? It sounds good to my brain. But I, I assume that like poutine has like a cannon, right? Like poutine has like a cannon and you cannot like deviate. Like it's gotta be, you know? You could have a chili poutine as long as you've got the curds and the gravy. I see, I see. What's the thing that's considered like, you can't like add weird shit to it. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of something that's like, you just, you just can't. We call it work poutine. Oh, okay. Shut up, gazpacho. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what's considered like, I there was a food that I got into a debate with. Not, I got into a debate with someone about a food where it's like, if you add X to this food, like it's no longer this food. What was it? I'm trying to remember. Blue cheese crumbles and au jus. Very thin type of gravy would be a no-go on a poutine. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, you gotta have the curds. Ah, carbonara. Yeah, Iggy. I think that might be it. I think that's what I got. Did I? Is that what I? No, no, no. That's not recent. I got into a debate a while back about carbonara and... It was the question of like, is it okay to use bacon in carbonara? And I was like, I understand that like jowl meat is ideal, but you can't really get, you can't really get jowl meat in the United States. You can get bacon, but you can't really get jowl meat. It's like not easy to get, you know? But I remember I was talking to someone that was like, you cannot use bacon because bacon is smoked and bacon is completely different. Yeah, guanciale, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the cheek meat, right? 
cheek or jowl meat that's like been been uh, cured is is like the traditional but it's like how do you get that i can't get that anywhere i go to my local butcher and i ask them for guanciale and they'll be like what the fuck are you what is that i don't know what that is so it's like you gotta make do with like what you get it was something else though what was it it was like it's not it's not x if you add in or you remove this ingredient <clears throat> the forbidden cheek meat not the butt cheek i'm talking about like the the, the face cheek meat yeah like like from the face not the butt you know did you guys know that pork butt is not made from the butt pork butt is shoulder meat what the fuck if it's shoulder meat why would you call it butt i don't understand I was eating pork butt with the understanding that I was eating the ass of the of, of the pig, you know? Why? Why? My entire life I was like, yeah, I'm eating ass right now. But I was I was never eating ass. I was lied to. I was under the impression that I was eating ass, but I was not. I was eating shoulder. All right. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> Ham is the actual butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine not eating ass. Ugly, right? My life is a lie. <laughs> Fucked up if true. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let's uh let's find someone to raid. <laughs> what are you guys in the mood for? You guys you guys want to watch anything in particular? You guys, you guys in the mood for something in particular? <clears throat> like art? Art is good? Anybody doing art? I know what I want to watch. <laughs> Yo, Vivi streaming. That's a good one. Mm. And she's just chatting as well. Let's see who's up. streaming kind of a raid hoodie do you guys know hoodie hoodie has a beautiful voice hoodie oh big ham is also streaming all right all right let's see let's see let's see Phoebe's a good one she's only been streamed for 20 minutes hoodie hoodie's a good one Rody is streaming too hoodie's been streaming for an hour okay okay Maybe Hootie. Maybe Rodia. Thirty minutes. I'm thinking Hootie. What do you guys think? I want to show you guys Hootie. <laughs> I've made my decision because Hootie. Oh man, I love Hootie. Hootie's Hootie's one of my favorite VTubers. Honey is great too. Honey's amazing. <laughs> I think I think it's gonna be Hootie tonight. Everybody, thank you for stopping by. Let's raid Hootie. I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> Everybody, I type slash roll. I type slash roll and not raid. Like I'm playing, like I'm playing D and D. Slash roll three D six plus four. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> All righty. Been fun. Going to try to catch more of these streams. Yeah, Sinburner. I appreciate it. I hope I gave you a good impression on your first stream hanging out with us. We're rolling, Hootie. Let's go. All right, everybody. Take care. All right. You give Hootie a warm welcome. Please stick around and watch. You're going to love his voice. He's got, like, the best voice in VTubing, in my opinion. <laughs> And he's also a great guy. All right. Good night, everybody. Take care.